Hey, how's everybody doing? I want to thank you all that are watching this who are my backstage and all access subscribers. Thank you all so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, this whole thing started because I was doing some Facebook question and answer sessions earlier, kind of right when the pandemic started and uh, started bringing along some guests. I had Bill Walton and Keller Williams and uh, Jeff Kameni. And, and that was kind of the genesis for this whole thing. And this is where I was sitting when I was doing those. Uh, my wife was working from home at the desk over there and I had to move over to this little table. But being in this corner, I got a lot of questions about the stuff on the walls. Um, a lot of questions and comments. So I figured uh, I'll take you through and show you some of the stuff I have here around my office. Um, these videos originally were intended to be kind of surprise videos from home and on the road. Not really on the road right now. So uh, I'm going to do my best to show you around uh, some of my things here in the house and talk about some stuff. And uh, hopefully we can connect a little bit and uh, maybe it'll uh, give us some uh, things to talk about on the community hangs that we're going to do once a month. So uh, I hope you enjoy uh, getting a little glimpse into my world here at, uh, here at the house. So this is kind of my office, practice space, place to uh, get away from the kids and spend some time. Uh, you know, I got a little, little Frankenstein drum set up here to play and the little guy has his kit so we can jam and have duets. And uh, right there at the desk where I make the podcast, take care of business. And uh, it's a nice room. It's upstairs, so it's away from the wife and kids and it's kind of a place to go. I got a nice view of the backyard when I'm sitting at my desk and if the kids are outside playing, I can watch them and whatnot. And, uh, and most importantly, it, it gives me, it gives me a place to come and practice. Um, got to try and practice the first couple months. I didn't play nearly enough during the pandemic and, uh, really, really missed it. So it's good to be back up here. You know, I try and get up here once a day, every other day and spend an hour or so playing. So, uh, yeah, so this is the room. I'm going to take you through some of the art on the walls. There's a lot of pretty cool stuff uh, with some good stories behind it. So this is the corner where I was doing the Facebook stuff, the Q&As. And this is the art people were seeing. So I'm going to show you a little bit of this because it's kind of cool. Um, this is kind of, sorry about the glare. That's from 2002. And it was the first time, the only time actually, that we've had a really nice write-up in Rolling Stone magazine and uh, a lot of cool things to me about this uh, the picture of the band uh, bad glare the picture of the band in there was taken at the Warfield uh, and it was really cool because that was the first time that Bobby uh, Bob Weir ever sat in with us and played with us and my parents came out there and made the trip to be at those shows which was pretty cool and then that was kind of that was what they used for the Rolling Stone article and that was kind of the moment, you know, my parents have always been incredibly supportive. They helped me get through music school and all that. But, you know, just like any parent, when you're a struggling musician, they kind of question what you're doing. And this Rolling Stone article kind of took that away for him and made him say, all right, he's, he's doing well. This is, this is going well for him. And coupled with the fact they were at the show, that really helped. This one was pretty cool and it meant a lot. Back in 2009 we decided to put out a calendar. It was the only time we ever did it, but uh, it was pretty cool. And so a dear friend of mine took the page, which was from June, that had a bunch of pictures of us and me and Bill Walton, who's become a really good friend of ours. Uh, it had a bunch of pictures of us with Walton that night. So uh, a good friend of mine went ahead and got it signed by Bill and had it framed up and presented to me. And that was really cool. It's kind of one I hold dear. Uh, what else is on this wall? I think that's just a Grateful Dead ticket stub from a New Year's show. When is that? 91, it looks like. Um, I don't even remember where I got that, but it's cool. This is a picture from Jamaica, and it's got all of us with Keller sitting in, and Allie Crowell as well from Yonder Mountain String Band. Um... You know, Jamaica's one of the coolest things we do. It's a real drag that this is going to be a year we don't get to do it, but we've had Keller down there a couple times. He's a good friend of ours. Um, it's just, you know, it's just one of the weeks of the year that we always look forward to getting down there and kind of having a paid vacation 
and get to hang out with all our fans. I know we've made a lot of friends down there. Uh, this also has a really cool frame on this. Uh, kind of fitting for the Grateful Dead thing. I got this on a couple of different pieces of art I have. Uh, a good friend of ours who lives in California owns a frame shop out in, uh, in um, Mill Valley, uh, Marin County, and uh, he's framed up a lot of stuff for me. And so this is a piece that I really like, especially because of the frame. So here I've got a couple of Fillmore posters. You know, um, when you play at the Fillmore, everybody wants a poster. You know, it's a big deal. The place is covered with posters from all the years, and they're so historic. And for some reason, like the first five or six times we played there, they never made a poster. And, you know, it was a real drag. We always wanted one. And they finally did this one, so that was the very first one. And of all the times we played there, we had that was the first. We only had one other. Um, and it was this one right here, which is also really cool. That one's kind of special because that was another night that Bob Weir came and sat in with us. And uh, he signed this poster. You know, we all have autographed copies of these, and Bobby signed it. Although I think it's kind of fading out right there. Yeah. But uh, also special, you know, just to be able to have a poster from the Fillmore Auditorium where so many great shows have happened, you know, so I'm really proud of those. So this is the wall right next to my desk, the ones I see the most. Uh, this is a really cool Grateful Dead 50 that uh, is also in that really hip frame that my buddy did for us. Um, what else we got over here? This is probably my absolute favorite Dark Star poster ever made. It was way back in 2000, right when I joined the band at a place called the Wool Warehouse in Albuquerque, Albuquerque, New Mexico. And I don't know, I was drawn to it right away. It's got the rose inside the turtle shell. So it was definitely the, my, the coolest poster ever at that point. You know, that's 21 years ago, holy crap. Uh, and it's still one of my all time favorites. So this is from 2002, uh, which was a pretty big year for us. Uh, that was kind of the year we first really, after being together for three or four years, really kind of started to take off. We had the Rolling Stone thing and playing with Bobby for the first time. Uh, we did a jam grass tour with some of the legends of the bluegrass world. Uh, it was the first time we got into a bus and out of the vans. So it was a big year. And we also made the cover of Polestar, which is an industry magazine. Um, and that was kind of a big deal in the industry to make the cover of Polestar. So uh had that one framed. Somebody did that one for me and gave it to me. Really like that one as well. This is kind of cool. This is a last from the last Grateful Dead show at Soldier Field. A ticket stub. Or not a stub, an unused, uncut ticket and an unused backstage pass from that show. Uh, kind of need to look at that and think about it. I went ahead and pulled this one down off the wall because it's pretty cool. It's a, it's a handbill for the Fillmore West in the Winterland, but it went out as a postcard. So it's like an uncut sheet of two separate handbills uh, from 1968-69 New Year's Eve. And this one was for the show that was going to be going on at the Fillmore West. And it had Vanilla Fudge, Richie Havens, The Young Bloods, and Cold Blood. $7, breakfast included. Um, and then this one was from the Winterland, which would have been, uh, the Grateful Dead and Quicksilver. And I uh, was breakfast included in that one? Includes breakfast. So it's really cool. And so this is double-sided because it went out as a postcard and I was, it, since it was getting framed, you wouldn't see the back. So they went ahead and photocopied the back first, which is also pretty cool because it talks about, uh, what's going to be going on in January, um, and I thought the, it's crazy, every Tuesday night, and they have a 9 a.m., 9 p.m. show, and a 2 a.m. show on a Tuesday night, ouch, for a dollar, uh, and you know, here, January 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, The Grateful Dead with Blood, Sweat, Tears, and Spirit, the 9th and 10th, Led Zeppelin and Taj Mahal at the Fillmore, that's crazy, Credence and Fleetwood Mac, I mean, look at these lineups and the tickets for all of these are, let's see, $3 on Thursday and three fifty dollars on Friday and Saturday. Not too shabby, but I just thought this was a really cool piece of history. The other cool thing is the 
the postage was a bulk rate and they paid three cents to send each of these out. So uh, I've always thought this was really neat and I was very fortunate that uh, a friend of ours out in San Francisco shared this with me. Well, so that's just a little bit of what's going on in the, in the, in the mini museum up here, if you will. Um, by last count, there's about 100 pieces on the wall up here. Uh, and I'm going to show you some more of them down the line in some other videos. Uh, so thanks for coming along and taking a look. If you have any questions about anything, bring them to the community hang, and uh, we can talk about some of this stuff. So uh, peace. We'll see you again in just a little while.